Hi! We're here at the Doha Tour Bus to tour you around Doha, Qatar, the richest country in the world. Welcome! Let's go explore Doha! Hi friends! We are on the way now to the Doha bus station. I'm so excited and it is my pride and honor to show you how beautiful Doha is at night. Welcome to my second home. This is the street lights of Doha. As you can see, it is such a spectacular sight. It changes color in less than 10 seconds and there are around 300 lamp masts of this kind scattered specifically in the airport area connecting the main streets of the city to welcome visitors and guests and to follow people who leave the country. The pole of the mast stands at 20 meters high. It looks small but 28 meters is equivalent to 6 story building height. It is so massive. If you look closely on the pole, you will see Arabic calligraphy. And based on my research, it is a Qatari song. So these street lights were made for aesthetic purpose with a touch of Qatari culture and historical significance as well. Isn't that amazing? This is a short glimpse of the National Museum of Qatar at night. Later, if possible, I will make an exclusive vlog of it because it's one of the must-see places in Doha. So watch out for it! Hi! We're here at the Doha Tour Bus to tour you around Doha, Qatar, the richest country in the world. Welcome! I am here in the Doha Tour Bus. The bus is all to myself. Let's go explore Doha! The Doha bus night route. For the next one hour, we will be visiting the top six places in Doha. The first stop is the Sheraton Park, where the bus station terminal is. It is a beautiful, open, public family park of the oldest hotel in Doha, which is the Sheraton Hotel, famous for its iconic structure. The next stop is Katara. Katara is a cultural village. It has various academic facilities, halls, buildings, and galleries, and malls, and can host multiple conferences, seminars, and exhibitions and events. The third stop is the Pearl Qatar. Pearl is the first urban development of Qatar, offering freehold ownership. So, kung marami kang pera, you can easily buy a property here. And the next stop is the Souk Wakif, one of the very famous place also, which is situated in the heart of Doha. It is a century-old trading market, which has been renovated recently also, and some parts are still ongoing at the moment. The next stop is uh, Doha Harbor, where the wooden boats are. And the last but not the least is the Corniche, which is a stretch of road on the coast of Doha where you can see the beautiful Doha skyline. And then back to the Sheraton Park. This is the Oridu Tower. Oridu Qatar is the largest and the leading communications company in Doha. It was established in 1987 and used to be called Qatar Telecom. However, in 2013, it was rebranded and called Oridu Qatar. The bus is all to ourselves. We are the only passengers. This trip is exclusively for us, for me and my sister. Can you imagine? Because it so happened that there is a sandstorm and people are afraid to go out of the house or they are not comfortable. We just tried our luck 
because I've been planning to do this for a long time now and it has been postponed many times already so I told my sister let's see if there is a bus available luckily there is so we pushed through with the plan we are here and the bus is all to ourselves as you can see this is the Doha tour bus we are now entering Katara cultural village as you can see on the left there is a mountain like structure creating a soothing natural ambience the whole village is beautifully landscaped and well lighted as well it boasts of greek amphitheater beach art galleries, plaza, malls, and recreation centers. Falcon Hood Building. This is uh, the most striking building in Katara. This is an exhibition house and at the same time a Falcon Clinic. It was built to house an interactive multimedia exhibit for visitors who want to learn about the rich heritage of Qatar Falconry. So, kung merong agila sa Pilipinas, Dito sa Qatar, ang famous naman sa kanila are the Falcons. Galleries Lafayette, as an ultimate shopping destination, is a reflection of Paris in Doha. The iconic French department store is spread around 15,000 square meters exquisitely, and it creates a Parisian lifestyle experiences for local and international shoppers with 400 brands in store. The Children's Mall. It is a unique and fun design mall, a gift-shaped mall that caters to all children's needs, from clothes, entertainment, to education. It is really a beautiful sight to look at. We are now entering the Pearl Qatar. This is another attraction of Doha where luxury and elegance meet. It is Qatar's first international real estate venture with the largest marina. This is housed to 25,000 residential units in a man made island covering 400 hectares of reclaimed land. We won't be able to see the marina because the bus road is only on the facade. Just picture it out. It is an artificial island with high-rise buildings and marina as the best attraction. On the right is the Suk Wakif Park and Garden. It is the most favorite park of many as it is located in downtown Doha. Underneath is an underground parking equipped with state-of-the-art technology for visitors' convenience. Another famous landmark situated at the heart of the city in Doha is Al Fanar Islamic Cultural Center. This wedding cake-shaped building is a mosque, a library, and a center for various religious activities where non-Muslim visitors are offered extended as well as crash courses on the Islamic faith and Arabic languages.
Sukwakif is a century-old trading market noted for selling traditional garments, spices, handicrafts, souvenirs, and it also home to the best restaurants and shisha lounges. Although it dates back at least 100 years, it was renovated in 2006 to conserve its traditional Qatari architectural style. Doha Harbor is the fifth stop. This is another iconic spot. Hundreds of wooden boats, some operating, some abandoned, line up the harbor. It acts also as a ferry terminal to Banana Island. You can find the Oyster Pearl Fountain, a famous landmark, and a symbol of Qatar's historic practice of pearl diving and trade. The last but not the least spot is Cornish. It is one of the most popular attractions in Doha. It is a 7-kilometer length encircling Doha Bay. It is best for outdoor activities and conveniently located close to anywhere in town. From this view, you can see the famous Doha skyline. Hi, this is my sister Anna. The bus is all for us. Just ourselves. This is two of us. The tour have ended. It's a one hour tour around Doha City. Seeing the beautiful scenic spots of Doha, Qatar. Hope you enjoy this vlog. Thank you for watching.